Hello everyone, so I'm doing a quick um, flip through of a tarot deck that came up in the Hermit Cave group on Facebook and it was how to deal uh, how to deal tarot for everyday life. Um, this is an Urban Outfitters exclusive um, tarot deck. So this is the box. Um, now I got it online all off of the Urban Decay. Urban Decay? Oh my god. Urban Outfitters. I'm going to keep doing that. Urban Outfitters uh, website uh, for half price because they had a half price sale. Nothing wrong with a good bargain. Nothing wrong with it. Um, this is written by Sammy Main and illustrated by Marissa de la Penne. Penne. The way I said it sounds like the pasta. But there's the backing there. You see the little snippet there. Get what you, it shows you what you get in the box, which is the deck and the book. And I love this little bit. It has like a little heart lock and key. So cute. So this is the tarot deck and this is the book. The book is sold separately, but this is the set. So you can actually get the book on its own. Oh my god, I didn't know it was full colour. Mm. Okay, so it does the... Oh, that's interesting. It does the suits first there. Yeah, it does the suits first and at the end is the uh, majors. That's cool. This is a really nice book though. I'm shocked by how like it's so simple and straightforward. Now let's just say pentacles are the fourth suit of the tarot and it tells you what they do. And oh, that's cool. There's even little bits for notes. I love that. Well, we're going to get into the deck now, but like that's a really cool book. I would that's actually and it's a nice size. So you can actually put it in your handbag or your bag, or your tarot bag. The, the bag you bring all your stuff for reading. Um which is nice because it's nice to have an actual book. Oh, I wasn't expecting the backing to look like the this kind of ombre effect on the book. Okay, no, this is going to be a nice one to uh, probably... Um, oh, it's backwards. Okay. So you have to go this way. Okay. Um, Stock-wise... It's decent. It's soft, but it's decent. It's not like flimsy and thin. Um, I think mine was just in the box for so long, or it might be a little bit of a printing issue there. It's backwards, so it's like the last major is first, and then it goes on to the suit. That's interesting. So I'm going to just quickly... Actually, you know what? I'll just go with the order. We'll go this way. We get surprised. What are we starting off with? We're starting off with the wands, of course. Ace of wands. I love this watercolour effect. Oh, we're stuck together. Two of wands. Three of wands. It's a nice tarot deck to use for... It says for everyday life. It says embrace... And inside the... Oh, I didn't see that. Inside the little boxes, embrace your intuition. Embrace your intuition. Wow, that's really pretty. Like the people are there and their heads are the flowers. <laughs> the five of wands are dogs going, I have my stick. This is not my stick. They look like they're saying my stick is better. <laughs> I like it. Six of wands. <laughs> Seven of wands. What is that? It's like a penguin man. Oh, this way. Eight of Wands. I like that. That's usually the one where they're shooting out in the air, but they're like, here, no, they're planted. And they're going to grow and manifest that way. Nine of Wands. She's really like, oh my god, I'm so tired and I'm taking care of my my wands. Ten of Wands. It's a bird man. Wow, the page of ones. I like the colours. It's really interesting. Knight of Wands. <laughs> it's just a lizard with a knight hat on. Things like this. <laughs> Guess. Queen of Wands. Oh, look at her. I love this red. Like the red is just beautiful. The abstractness of it. The King of Wands. Cups. We're on to cups, so all the blues, hopefully. Ace of cups. 
to we've got all the pastel blues and purples three of cups four of cups five of cups <laughs> six of cups oh that's a bit creepy the faces why do they remind me of the trick-or-treaters in Nightmare Before Christmas? Ooh. Seven of Cups. But it shows you that you're mischief in your youth, so. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. The colours are so different in each one. Ten of Cups. Like, we went from blue to pink now. And the rainbow's still there. Page of cups. It's a fish. <laughs> it's the, usually it's the man holding the cup with the fish and the fish is like, ha, it's my turn. <laughs> That's cool. Night of cups is the, f oh, it's a fish in the cup. He's like, yes, I'm at back in my cup. Queen of cups. So pretty. King of Cups. Uh, knives. So swords are knives. Okay. Uh, Ace of Knives. It's nice purple, like pink purple ombre right here. Two of Knives. Boom. Does the cactus have a bandage on it? That's interesting. Three of Knives. So this is the Three of Swords. And the apple's like a heart. It's nice to see that. Someone took a chunk out of the heart of your heart, kind of thing, and it's like a void. Four of knives or four of swords. That's very peaceful. I like that one. Five of knives or swords. Six of knives. Seven of knives. And he's looking behind him, not wondering where he's going, carrying the knives very carelessly. Eight of swords, eight of knives. Well, no matter, I always love seeing different versions of this card because it it shows a lot of like mental health strain and obstacles in the way. Nine of, nine of knives. Ten of knives. That's interesting. She's like a crown of like like a Statue of Liberty kind of crown, and it's the hilt that are in the back of her head, not the blade. Very cool. Page and eyes. Whoa, <laughs> just a green man out of nowhere. Knight of knives. Queen of knives. King of knives. Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, just in case it was coins. Um, two of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, four of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, six of Pentacles. Oh, there's a snake, Seven of Pentacles. It's like a snake in the garden. Isn't that the one with the garden? Yeah, it is. Like the bushes are blooming. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. I like it. It's just money. Just a all those hundred dollar bills. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Now we're on to the majors. Okay. Oh, no. I always do that. Make it a bit neat. The Fool. Oh, dog, it's interesting. It's 
stuff to get on the brown there. The magician? The magician. Alright. The high priestess. That's really pretty. Oh, her gloves are the pillars. That's really nice. The empress. Still the same thing. It's like just a, like a selfie moment. Like rather than seeing the whole throw and you just see her head. I love this pink. I've not looked at... Oh, the emperor. Wow. Looks like the devil in her. Um, it is kind of the polar opposite actually. That's nice. I haven't looked at this this deck at all. I literally just saw a few a preview of it and I went, oh, that's fine. I need to get that. <laughs> the Hierophant. Ooh. I like that. Like a wanderer in the desert, maybe. The Lovers. The Lovers is a vase. That's interesting. The Chariot. Yep, yeah, just driving home. Taking time. Strength. Oh, she's wearing the line. So did she have the strength to kill her friend? Oh, that's interesting. Hermit. What's a female hermit? Hey. And she has a, <laughs> a torch. I like that. Modern twist. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, people are just clinging to it, making it turn, waiting for it to turn or... Like she's trying to stop it. These two are like, these two are stopping it. And she's like letting it flow. Interesting. Justice. The Hanged Woman. Another Hanged Woman. The other one was Mystic Mondays. They have a Hanged Woman. So that's really nice. Oh, how, how is she spending that way? I have no idea. Death. Oh, look at the zombie bits. Erotic bits of flesh. It's very cool. It's very Jack Skeleton look. Um, temperance. The devil. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a sea monster devil with bat wing crown. Very cool. The tower. I like how the tower is actually just an ordinary house. Because most of the things that happen in your life would happen at home or you go back home and talk about it and those things just kind of transpire in the home so makes sense the star that star card i'm a stickler for the star card if i don't find it amazing the deck's not gonna be amazing i don't know that's just me. like the thelma one i don't like that star for some reason the moon I don't know what it is about it, it's just like, mm, I don't know. Whereas the Arcanum one is lovely. The sun, hey, just getting her tan. Like that. that contrast is beautiful. Oh, and the dogs are there. The dog and the wolf are there. Judgment. Oh, little ghosts. And lastly, we have the world. It's interesting, she's on a swing. Oh, I'd love to see what the meaning is behind all that. So I'm going to do some research on this deck. And just... I'll do a quick... Actually, I was going to not do it, but let's do a quick shuffle and see how they shuffle. Oh, that did not bend right. How did you flip around? Yeah, three ones flipped around. Probably seen it in the video, but oh yeah, did flip around. They're very nice to shuffle, they're very matte, I will say that. They're not slippy, they're very matte. But it's like that soft matte, if that makes sense. You have the kind of soft matte that's like um some oracle decks. Nine of Pentacles. Strength 
and chariot and we'll use the book i always like using the book so you can see the difference in how this deck interprets the cards which is lovely to experience uh pentacles like i and i know the nine of pentacles means like you're embracing all your hard work look at all and you're just treating yourself spending a bit of money just treating yourself a bit you know that's usually what that means but here's what the book says it says you're basically on cloud nine pun intended nine you're feeling comfortable enough in your success to enjoy it you're near the end of a project and you're re ready to relax you've earned it kick up your feet grab a jar and tell on a spoon i love that and let yourself chill out a little you're allowed, I'll bring it in here, you're allowed uh, uh, to be happy. It took a, took you long enough. It took you long enough. It sounds a bit Irish there. It took you long enough. Uh, this card is all about feeling satisfied and at home with yourself. That's really nice. Just grab a spoon and a bit of Nutella. I like that. That's nice. It really is like that every day because people do that. Strength. Okay. Dorothy. This lady's called Dorothy, apparently. Dorothy has the power to get herself home from Oz. Oh, it's oh. It's just Dorothy has the, it's just this thing. Oh, uh, from Oz all along. Her red shoes were her strength card. Sometimes you're more powerful than you ever realized. Maybe we're not told not enough, often enough, just how strong we are. So consider this your reminder. You've got the control, you've got the smarts, you've got the passion. Strength doesn't mean you go around beating people up. It means you know when to make your voice heard or when to hang back and wait. That's nice. So you're like, if this, okay, if we're reading it from, from going from the Nine of Pentacles to this, uh, you're enjoying your success. You're enjoying this project that you're working on, but you don't know what's going to come next. So you kind of need... You'll have the strength to get to the next bit. And you're probably a little bit anxious knowing, not knowing what's coming next. But you'll have the strength to do that, which is lovely. That's nice. That's a really nice card. Now we're on to the chariot, which is just, just a page behind. Um, <clears throat> um, so the chariot, it's all about moving slowly. Think back to the last time you performed really well. Or to a time when you placed... Well, you, you were placed well in a competition. That golden bubbly feeling in your chest, that's pride and that's confidence and that's so great. That's your chariot. Your chariot is where you turn when you need some pep in your step. Stick with your chariot if you want to go far. If this char card comes up, it's trying to remind you of the direction you want to head. So, even though... That's actually really nice. Oh my God, this book is so nice. Um, even though you're basking in all your success and your money's coming in and all that stuff, um, you have the strength to carry on. Like you think, oh my God, I can't go on. What's the next step? And we're like, you are the next step. You make the next step to go on. And then the chariot just shows, look at all, you remember this success as you're driving home when it finishes. Like you feel great that you've accomplished that and you feel great that you and your team have accomplished that if it is a team project. So I will leave that there, guys. Um, I'll leave that there. Um, I think that's a lovely deck to have. That's actually a really nice deck. I feel like comfortable. Do you know that kind of warm, fuzzy feeling? Like you're like, oh, it's so nice. You know when you just want a cosy blanket and a hot chocolate? That's how I feel. It's that kind of feeling so i will leave that there guys and i will use this deck a bit more on my own before bringing it into another video um i'll leave that there and i'll see you all next time bye